Hello everybody, this is Jim, coming at you from Gamers and Graphite. Now you might think so far, up to now, that uh, Gamers and Graphite uh, gives you uh, quality video games and, uh, and literature, and uh, that would be all for the games, except that's not true. Up until now I haven't had much time or the funds, and uh, even though this is not uh, a box of cards, we are going to be opening it up a uh, fat pack of the new Aether Revolt from Magic the Gathering. Now, I purchased this from the local game shop, Got Game, uh, in uh, Plymouth, Indiana. Uh, check it out. It's really great. The guys are really awesome down there. Uh, they are not uh, um, funding this or anything. It's just a plug I like to give to the local game store. Uh, so... Let's open. Uh, let's open up the packs and see what I get. Uh, I have not played any of the new uh, Magic sets since. Uh, I can't even think. It's been a while since I've played Magic. Um, probably Return to No, not Return to Ravnica. Uh, oh, Gatewatch. Gatewatch. Yeah, it's been a while. So let's see what we get, guys. Okay. We're going to open up the box. Trying to find something to open with. Now, what I like about the fat packs is that they contain not just uh, 10 booster packs, but they also contain the guides. These guides give you a little bit of the backstory to the set. As well as a complete card gallery that I find very beneficial. And for some reason we got a nifty little Planeswalker box. I think it does nothing. And there's nothing in it, but it's a box. Uh, this could be used, I guess, as a dice box. That's kind of cool. And of course we have the Aether Revolt art with Chandra. Uh, and I think that's it on that one. And of course... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going a little hoarse here. The dice, the spin down D20. Look at that thing spin. It's great, folks. Have to collect every single one that they have. Okay, so this is the contents of the box. We have a little quick reference guide we're not going to look at because if you're an experienced Magic player you should already know the quick reference guide. Uh, we have the nifty little package of mana. These are really beautiful by the way. Uh, uh, Wizards of the Coast does an awesome job at really creating some beautiful lands. The art. Uh, that's one of the, the better things about Wizards of the Coast is in fact the art. Of course getting really good cards is a bonus too. So let's see what we got here. We're going to crack some packs. I am not gentle when it comes to cracking packs. I have not seen any of these so Let's see, we got a shock. Really cool art. We're going to put these in color. Take into custody. If it will autofocus. There we go. Uh, some kind of osprey. Unbridled growth. That's really cool. You got to love uh, green. I personally like blue and red myself. Uh, then we got a couple warriors. 
we're just going to kind of speed through these guys. Um, we'll stop at the uncommons and the rare, of course. All right, so uncommons. We have Daredevil Dragster. At the end of combat, if Daredevil Dragster attacked or blocked this combat, put a velocity counter on it. Then if it has two or more velocity counters on it, sacrifice it and draw two cards. Crew of two. That's kind of interesting. Efficient construction. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, create a 1-1 one -one colorless thopter artifact creature token of flying. That goes well with the Tezzeret, I imagine. Thopter Arrest. Oh, and Aether Wind Basker. Sorry for the glare. Uh, trample 7-7 seven, seven for 4 and 3 green. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, you get a energy counter for each creature you control. Pay an energy counter, uh, and the Basker gets plus 1, plus 1 until the turn. That would be pretty good, guys. And then, of course, we get another mana and a gremlin token. So we're going to put these off to the side. And adjust the light a little bit. All right, starts off with another shock. Take to custody. Oh, that... You know, that's funny. These three cards were the first three cards that we pulled from the last pack. Hmm. Negate, always a classic. Uh, then we got the... Let's see, we got Skyship Plunderer. Tezzert's Touch. That's a cool card. Siege Modification. Oh, a Metallic Mimic, guys. I do not know any of the prices of these, so I don't know if Metallic Mimic is decent or not. Uh, for two, it's a 2-1. As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Metallic Mimic is the chosen creature type in addition to these to its other types. Each other creature you control of the chosen creature type enters the battlefield with a, an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. I could see this going into a bunch of little minion decks. Uh, goblins, elves, zombies, you name it. The shapeshifter is in it. Oh, guys, 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 guys. We got a holographic extra. Boral Chief of Compliance. 1-3. Legendary creature. Human wizard. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one colorless less to cast. Whenever a spell or ability you control counters a spell, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. That is awesome, guys. Definitely, uh, to me, I love blue. So it's definitely, and these are the extra two cards, definitely worth uh, the pack so far. Uh, the one pack, not the whole pack, of course. All right, we're going to go into the next pack. Uh, too bad it's not a shock. It's a precise strike. Oh, negate. Always a good one there. You got to love uh, blue counters. Okay, for uncommons, we got deft dis... Uh, duh, I can't talk today. Deft dismissal. Winding constrictor. For all you Golgari out there. Reckless Racer. Hope of Gia Gurapur. Gurapur. Uh, sacrifice uh, Hope of Gurapur. Until your next turn. Target player who is dealt combat damage by Hope of Gurapur. This turn can't cast non creature spells for one. A legendary artifact creature Thopter. That's kind of neat. And, of course, we didn't get anything. We just got these two. Uh, that's that's pretty neat. Uh, so far... Alright, next up...
Another negate. Negates seem to be plenty, these, uh, these packs. Alright, so. We got Outland Boar. If it will... There we go. Then we got Gremlin Infestation. Monstrous Onslaught. Then we got the Green Wheel Liberator. It's a little 2 1 elf for 2. Uh, revolt. It uh, enters the battlefield with 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. If a permanent you controlled left the battlefield this turn, I could see that uh, being pretty useful. Uh, here's the mana, and here is trash. Alright, next pack. I'm not really expecting a Planeswalker, but it would be nice. Alright. Kind of a neat one. Alright, we got Trophy Mage. Blue card. Uh, enters the battlefield, look for an artifact uh, card with converted mana cost 3, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Hidden stockpile, Orzhov kind of colors. At the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you controlled left the battlefield this turn, create a 1-1 colorless servo artifact creature token. Uh, you can uh, tap one, sacrifice a creature, and scry for one. That's kind of neat as well. Consulate Dreadnought. Uh, if it will focus, you can see that it is a 7-11. Maybe. Sorry about the poor quality of camera, guys. There we go. Uh, for one, crew of six. Crew, of course, is tap any number of creatures you control with power six or more. This uh, vehicle becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. So that's kind of neat. And then we got Disallow. Uh, for a blue lover like myself, this is great. It's a three uh, casting instant. Counter target spell activated ability or triggered ability. Guys, that is pretty awesome as far as uh, counters go. It's a pretty, uh, uh, pretty decent uh, counter there. All right, so we're going to start. I'm guessing we're going to find a negate, maybe? No, we did not find a negate in this pack. Okay, we're going to start with Life Caller's Gift. Life Crafter's Gift. Uh, costs four instant. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature, then put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it. That is pretty cool, guys. I must say. Airdrop Aeronauts. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, you gain five life. Okay, that's pretty good, too. Perilous Predicament. Costs five. Each opponent sacrifices an artifact creature and a non artifact creature. Okay, that's cool too. I do like black, so. Secret Salvage costs five. Sorcery, exit target non-land card from your graveyard. Search your library for any number of creature er, <laughs> cards with the same name as that card. Reveal them and then put them into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Not meant for commander, guys. So don't use that for commander. Uh, by the way, if you guys are in the Plymouth area, of uh, Indiana. Got Games has uh, several tournaments going on. Casual tournaments, at least. They just started uh, last month, I believe. Support your local game shop. Alright, uh, I can already see a hollow card in the back. So we're going to slowly draw out I don't know what's up with my zoom or my autofocus. 
Okay, so we're at the uncommons. Refugee, f refiner, enters the battlefield, draw a card, and you get uh, two energy counters. That's cool. Gremlin infestation, we've already seen that one. Ridge scale tusker. Uh, when it is the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. That's going to be pretty cool, too. Aid from the Cowl. Five, revolt at the beginning of your end step if a uh, permanent you controlled. Left the battlefield this turn, reveal the top card of your library. If it is a permanent card, you may put it into the battlefield. Otherwise, you may put it on the bottom of your library. That is pretty awesome, too. And the holographic is Chandra's or Chandra Chandra's yeah rev revolution for four uh, it deals four damage to target creature tap target land that land does not untap until its controllers next untap step that is pretty cool guys and we got the token and the land now most of you youngins don't remember a time when Magic the Gathering did not regularly put tokens in their backs, packs of cards, but uh, I am that old, and I remember that. You had to, tokens were very few and far between. All right, Bastion Enforcer, Shock, Shipwreck Moray, uh, Fourth Bridge Prowler, Aether Herder, Night Mark Aeronaut, Reservoir Walker, Filigree Crawler, Ice Over, Implement of Combustion, uh, Daredevil Dragger, you've already Dragster, you've already seen. Ironclad Revolutionary uh, for uh, six. He's a four-four. Enters the battlefield. You may sacrifice an artifact if you do. Put two plus one plus one counters on it. Each opponent loses two life. That's pretty cool. Servo Schematic two. When it enters the battlefield, it's putting the graveyard from the battlefield. Create a one-one colorless Servo artifact creature token. That's pretty good too. And the rare is Quicksmith Rebel. Four, two, uh, three, two. When it enters the battlefield, uh, target artifact you control gains. Tap it. This artifact deals two damage to target creature or player. As long as you control Quicksmith Rebel. And then the two cards. Uh, and I wish, guys, and representatives from Wiz Wizard of the Coast, if you are listening, that... Uh, they would have uh, brought back Rebels for uh, the Aether Revolt. <coughs> Rebels was a creature type back in the day. Uh, Lin Civi was awesome. So we're going to start off with another pack. Alright, we get done. Malfist Revolutionary, a lot of revolutionaries these days. Uh, if it autofocuses, maybe not. I'm just going to read it. Uh, when it enters the battlefield or dies for each uh, kind of counter on target permanent or player, give that permanent or player another counter of that kind. Goes well with Planeswalkers, I'd imagine. Uh, Pulsification Array. It's a one. Uh, tap two. Tap it. Tap target artifact or creature. That puts the icy manipulators of bygone day out of commission. Sly requisitioner five two two improvise. Whenever a non art non non token artifact you control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, create a one one colorless servo artifact creature token. Oh guys. This is awesome. I don't know exactly how awesome yet, because I haven't read it, but he looks awesome. Yehenna, Undyne, Partisan, 2 and a black, 2-2, two, two, Aetherborn, Vampire, Legendary Creature, Haste. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on him, sacrifice another creature. He gains indestructible until in the turn. This is awesome. This would make for a great commander uh, for a black deck. Uh, zombies, oh man, the possibilities are endless. And the two. <clears throat> so 
So I just noticed, guys, it doesn't say put a, a servo into play. It says create. I wonder if that's going to be an ongoing thing with wizards or if that's uh, just uh, for this set only. Okay, so we're going to start off again. Just kind of going through the commons. Till we get to the uncommons. Shielded Aether Thief. Enraged Giant. Reverse Engineer. Drawing cards is always good. And Quicksmith Spy. Uh, there we go. Tap three, tap it. Uh, two, three, human artificer. When it enters the battlefield, target artifact you control gains. Tap it, draw a card for as long as you control Quicksmith Spy. And the two. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. If you hear my voice kind of cracking or going out, I have a cold. So I'm not going to read uh, all of these cards anymore like I have been doing. Alright guys, last two packs. Uh, I said I there was 10 in a pack, but there's I'm opening 12 because uh, I had bought a pre-constructed deck and I had two extra. So. Shock. A lot of shocks in this set. Alright, well, I passed a couple of the Ravenous Intruder. It's a Gremlin. Shielded Aether Thief, you already saw. Uh, Maverick Thopterist. I really like the fact that they brought back Thopters in, this, in these sets. And, oh, hey, look at this, guys. Paradox Engine. Tap for five. Whenever you cast a spell, untap all non-land permanents you control. That is awesome. Look at that art, man. That's just really beautiful. If it will focus. Maybe not. Well, even if it can't, it's still pretty beautiful. And then the two. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, from the polls I've gotten, this pack will be a planeswalker in here I just know it uh, and furthermore I'm gonna call Tezzeret I just know it guys it's it's it if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan it's in the heart of the cards so automatically we're gonna do something special we're gonna release that's an energy we knew it was gonna be an energy this is gonna be a land we knew it was gonna be a land Will we get Tezzeret? No. We did not get Tezzeret, folks. We got a blue sorcery called Barrel's Expertise. Yeah. Return up to three target artifacts and or creatures to their owner's hands. You may cast a card with converted mana cost four or less from your hand without paying the mana cost. Not as good as Tezzeret. But equally as uh, interesting. All right, guys. That is the polls for the Aether Revolt Fat Pack <clears throat> purchased at Got Game in Plymouth, Indiana. Thank you, everybody. Hope you liked it. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, hit that notification button uh, for any further videos that we do. We'll be planning more videos uh, coming up uh, later this week. Uh, we do about two to three every week. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, take it easy, guys. Thanks. Bye.